If you've never fried your own fish at home, I have the best recipe for crispy, light, airy, beer battered fish and homemade tartar sauce and watch how I zhuzh it up. I'm gonna start by making my tartar sauce so the flavors have time to come together and it's ready when my fish comes straight out of the fryer. This is All Recipes top rated tartar sauce recipe. It's only four ingredients, so easy, it's a great base and then I'll show you how I like to zhuzh it up. Start with a cup of mayonnaise, teaspoon of yellow mustard, couple teaspoons of sweet relish, fresh lemon juice. A stir, and this is just a good starting tartar sauce. You can stop here, but I like to zhuzh it up. I like to go in with a little bit of dill relish, and then I like to add a little bit of a salty element with some capers chopped up. Also adding just like a half a teaspoon of the caper brine. And then I like to kick it up just a little bit with a little bit of hot sauce. And then you've got to have just some super finely chopped onion in there. To me, it's the way my mom used to always make it. That's better than anything you're going to get in a jar on the grocery store shelves. I'm scared to overwhelm you, but I would really like to add in some fresh herbs. I love the flavor of dill. The dill and the lemon with the fried seafood. Now for the batter, we are making a beer batter. This is going to be light and flavorful. It's gonna be super crunchy. And this top rated recipe has so much flavor going on. Starts with a cup of flour. A couple tablespoons each of paprika and garlic powder. A couple teaspoons each of salt and pepper. Give that a little whisk. And then I'm going in with one beaten egg. And this is the magic ingredient. You're gonna add just enough until it forms a thin batter. Beer is gonna be so much more flavorful than just adding something like club soda. The bubbles from the beer also make this batter super light. So we're gonna have a really airy and crispy finish. That's perfect. Let's fry our fish. I'm using cod today. Cod is classic in a beer battered fried fish. I love it because it's meaty, but it's also super light and flaky. It's gonna hold our batter really well. And this is not something you can really prepare in advance. You can have your batter ready, you can have your fish cut, you can have it all ready, but you need to set up a little station because as you dip the fish, you're gonna go straight into the oil. Check out that perfect bite. You've got crunch on the outside, flaky tenderness on the inside, and that creamy, tangy tartar sauce. Mm. So much flavor in that fish. This is a bomb recipe, I'm telling you. If you've never fried your own fish at home, this is definitely the recipe to start with. It is so good, you don't have to do anything to it. However, like always, if you want to, zhuzh it up. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>